All right, well, it wasn't that fun. Boat number one, thumbs down. Yep. All right, on to boat number two. Let's hope this one works out. Come on back. Let's see if this one will work. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Thumbs up. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Some days here. Princess is over here just sitting there in her little Halloween outfit. <laughs> We're going to look at uh, boat number two. Um, we uh, checked this boat out. Uh, it was right down the road, probably only, what, 20 minutes from us. So we thought, oh, this is going to be the perfect boat. We had already been on a boat like this over off Pensacola. Really liked the layout, really liked the boat. Yeah. So we thought, oh, man, this has got to be it. This is, this is, this is our uh, boat. This is a good deal. So we went over to Slidell, Louisiana and took a look at this boat. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this video here and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Alright, this is the 84 present sun deck trawler we're looking at over in Slidell, Louisiana. It's got the Isinglass up on top. As you can see, it's cloudy. So you can pretty well figure replace that up there is going to be about two thousand dollars the canvas may be all right but all the isinglass or stratoglass whatever you want to call it shot boat needs to be painted it's pretty rough all the decks are peeling up there's a bunch of soft spots this is the sun deck area what we really want it's got a nice fly bridge but as you can see it's Listing a little bit, holding water. Canvas looks good, but it's holding water here just because it's listing. But there's a bunch of chips and paint work that need to be done on this. This boat's listed for right about 56000 All the electronics up here are dated. Lots of soft spots on the deck. That's where your dinghy can sit, but it has no davit system to lift your dinghy up and set it back there. Now you can put solar panels, that'd be great. But you have to figure out, find out a way to put a davit system on here and that's gonna be expensive. But back here is what we really want to be able to sit back here. It's got the screens on it, which is fantastic. But again, you'd have to replace the panel here and each one probably 100 to 150 bucks a piece. So there's 300, 600. So you're talking a thousand dollar bill back here. Probably three or three thousand up on the front. So you're gonna have anywhere around five thousand dollars just to replace the Ising glass or strata glass on this one. And if the bimini shot up on top, you're talking another three to four on a good day. All right, so let's go down below and see. This is shot, this is rusted. Ice machine may or may not be working. Let's go down below. Immediately you can smell mold. Water staining, that means this window was leaked at one time. All the window, routed around all the windows. This one here is bad. Routed all the way through. Bathroom. Shower. How you doing? Oh, this window's bad. This window's bad. 
down below you'll walk down three steps you got your kitchen to port Electric stove. A little microwave. He asked Mike, come and look at that. Ooh. Yep, they're all bad. Yeah. Yep. You gotta lift up all the shades. Was it the end room? Yes. Just you can go ahead and pop it open if you want. I'm gonna check this up here. Chain locker. Water damage all the way around, soft wood rot. There's your tank inspection ports. Your generators right here. One of your Perkins. Turbo. It's had work done on it. You want me to open the other side or you good? I'm good. Water heater in the back. Nice. Alright, this is 1984 present 42 foot trawler that we're looking at today. Another stop on our adventure of finding a boat. This boat here listed right about 56,000. It's got a sun deck in the back. Really kind of what we're looking for. Really are. This boat has got some issues cosmetically wise, structurally wise. Lots of cracking. Lots of spiders. It's going to need a paint job. This is the boat we were looking at. We were hoping that this one would turn out. Hey, Kim and Daryl here. Hey. Well, we looked at the boat. It's in really rough shape. Got a lot of issues with it. It's a no-go. It's uh, all... It's everything we want, but a no-go. <laughs> yep. We're sad. We're sad we're for sad. the boat. If the conditions get in. But, uh, hey, we move on. We go look for the next one. That's right. There'll be another one. There always is. Here we go. <laughs> The adventure continues. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, we tried. Here we go again. As you saw, that boat was just falling apart. How much was that boat, babe? Fifty-five thousand dollars, and I almost fell through the floor. The floor in the bedroom was shot. It, it was. was horrible. It was just. It was just. It was sad. It's a shame that people would let something of that quality go to hell and back i mean the Excuse whole decks language. were soft everything on the top was peeling as you saw in the video uh, i mean the, i know the eyes and glass was a little bit discolored and there was some issues here and there but that boat had a lot of problems and we're really it, it, when you look at all the boats you look at yacht world you look at craigslist you make the calls these people want a fortune for these boats and i wouldn't give them twenty five thousand dollars for the boat but the layout was the perfect layout for the boat that we're looking for. The perfect layout. Yeah, so I think we're on to something here. We're just going to have to keep looking. When you're going to buy a boat, you just got to look, look, look. We've been going for years now, yeah. and now we're really serious about it. So we're really driving all over the place, keeping our eyes out for Yacht World, Boat Trader, uh, Craigslist, anybody and anybody that's... Uh, got anything out there it's just very disheartening to go out there and look at these boats and have them in the condition that they're in because i mean they're beautiful boats you can tell they were at some point in time and people just let them go and it's just such a shame well hey we'll we're, we're keep looking uh here we go we're again. not gonna give up we're gonna get a boat we're gonna find the right boat but we're gonna wait for the right boat too 
So we didn't waste any money on surveys on this one. No, we could survey that ourselves. <laughs> so we're all good there. So we hope you, you're, you're enjoying our journey with us. It'll come to an end soon, and then we can get to do some cruising and show you some really good stuff with some boats. But Hopefully. We're just trying to show you this is what it takes. Just don't think you can decide you're going to buy a boat tomorrow, and all of a sudden uh, you're going to go out it. there this weekend, and you're going to bring one home. It don't work like that. It's not like no. buying a car. No. or an rv you're gonna have to look for a while to find and it's what gonna cost do. money to find yep. one yep so be patient that's what we're doing but we're glad you're along with us please Spend give us the a, money uh, give us a thumbs up uh the next video coming up we're going to talk a little bit more about what to look for certain individual things that you want to talk about electronics uh anchors uh interior galleys and stuff like that so well, what's important to us that's right i so, mean everybody's different that's right so make sure you subscribe put on that notification so you can get uh notified when our next video comes out we're getting really serious about this we put up some links for some twitters and some tweeters and some <laughs> instagrams and i'm trying to learn as fast as i can so any suggestions put it in the comments below it helps us out you know it does so we're ready to get down to the Bahamas. That's right. So you're here. You're part. We want you part of our crew member. We want you involved in this. We want you to have some say so in a few things. We got a lot of exciting things. Once uh, we we show you the boat that we end up getting, we want you to come along and we want you to be part of this. So when you get ready to go out on a boat, or if you can't, you can at least come with us on our adventure. And if you do, then you won't be so shocked when you see the prices you, that you have to pay, the surveys, the this, the that, the time consuming, the everything that you're putting into it. That's right. It's a lot. So it's going to be fun. It just takes hard work sometimes to gain anything. It gets, it gets kind of frustrating, but you know, you can't give up if it's what you want to do. That's right. So just keep going. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Start the searching. Some days here. <laughs> Maybe. Bye, y'all. Bye.